Hello, and welcome to Time Drops. In this video, I will show how to set up the Time Drop Swim Timing System for a meet. Let's look at a typical setup. You have a pool with a start and finish area, the timers, a starter, and a desk with the meet management computer. For the Time Drop System, you connect the SA1 Start Adapter to the starter. Hand out the Time Drops buttons to the timers. Position the STC1 timing controller near the edge of the pool. And the timing operator with the tablet in a position from where they can observe the start and finish area. The controller should have a clear line of sight to the timers for optimal radio signal. If your timers move to the shallow end of the pool for 25-yard races, you may want to move the STC1 more towards the center of the pool for best reception at both ends. But that's optional. If you don't need internet and have no router, the STC-1 can provide a basic Wi-Fi access point for the tablet and the laptop. That is also a good fallback option in case of power outage, as the STC-1 runs on an internal battery. But in most cases it is better to have a dedicated Wi-Fi router near the desk. The time drop system does not require an internet connection. But you may need internet to transmit the results to various mobile apps. Or the meat management system may require an internet connection for the laptop. You can use your pool's existing Wi-Fi. But many times, this router may be far away from the desk area. Moreover, that router may be busy with pool members using the Wi-Fi. In that case, the most reliable solution is to position a dedicated router close to the desk area and to connect it to the main router with an Ethernet cable. If your desk is not placed close to the pool, the router should be positioned so that it can cover the desk, the tablet, and the STC-1 controller. The controller should always be near the edge of the pool. Another option is to use a smartphone in mobile hotspot mode to provide both Wi-Fi and internet access. But you need to make sure that phone can be plugged in, and that the owner of the phone does not walk away with the phone in their pocket. And that's all. Thanks for watching. 